You know, winter does start in exactly 51 days. I know you're thinking, whoa, we just got to fall. It's finally feeling like fall, but it is. It's going to be here before you know it. And this morning, local experts are tracking what could be an eventful season for us. 12 News journalist Jen Wall joining us live now in studio with more on this. So what is the latest winter weather outlook for us? Hey, well, if you like rain and snow, Allison, this one could be for you. A University of Arizona climate expert tells me they've been watching this this El Nino event develop over the last six months and it came on really strong in May and June. So right now experts tell me there's a 75 to 85 percent chance this year's El Nino will be in the strong category and even a 30 percent chance it could be historically strong. So that would be equivalent to the 97 98 or 2015 2016 events if you remember those. Now these strong events have a better chance of impacting the southwest with more winter precipitation and this happens as warmer water in the eastern Pacific reorganizes the weather pattern dragging the storm track down aiming it right at us. It can deliver us for an extended period of time in the midwinter kind of storm after storm after storm. It can lead to um, really good winter rains can put down good uh, snow in the high country. Uh, the downside is, is that it can even do so much of that, that it can lead to some flooding events kind of later in the winter. Okay, so that was U of A's Mike Crimmins right there, and he tells me it's still uncertain as to whether this will be historically wet or average precipitation this winter. Now, historically, El Nino typically starts to impact the southwest later in winter. So that's late December through March, the prime time there. And that's for the shift in the jet stream and those extended wet periods right here across Arizona. Crimmins tells me if this doesn't start to really develop by January, then climate experts start to kind of look across the west and see where the wet pattern is setting up. And while still uncertain, experts say a good El Nino pattern could really help our drought right here in Arizona. Coming up live in one hour at 6.30 a.m., we turn to Arizona State University. We're still talking water this morning, and they are helping you and all of us save water right here in the desert. We're going to show you a new challenge you can get involved in. But now we're live in the studio. Jen Walt, 12 News, Today News.